Nehemiah chapter 6, a pending disaster for Jerusalem. O ye children of Benjamin, gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem, and blow the trumpet in Tekia, and set up a sign of fire in Bethsarem, for evil appeared out of the north, and great destruction. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delicate woman. The shepherds with their flocks shall come unto her. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed every one in his place. Prepare ye war against her. Arise and let us go up at noon. Woe unto us, for the day goeth away, for the shadows of the evening are stretched out. Arise, and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces. For thus has the Lord of hosts said, Ye down down trees, and cast a a mount against Jerusalem. This is the city to be visited. She is holy, oppression in the midst of her. As a fountain casted out her waters, so she caused cast it out her wickedness, violence and spoil is heard in her. Before me continually is grief and wounds. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate a land not inhabited. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall thoroughly clean the remnant of Israel. As a vine turn back, thine hand as a grab gather onto the baskets. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, Their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach, that they have no delight in it. Therefore I am full of the fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding in. I will pour out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the fa- the wife shall be taken, the age with him that is full of days. And their houses shall be turned in unto others, with their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, said the Lord. For, for from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, Everyone is given to covetousness, and from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone deal it falsely. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not all ashamed, neither could They blush, therefore they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, said the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Also I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Therefore ye hear, O ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon his people, this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor my law, but rejected. To what purpose cometh there to me incense from Sheba, 
and the sweet cane from a far country, your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices, sweet unto me. Therefore thus said the Lord, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus said the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof, our hands wax feeble. Anguish had taken hold of us, and pain as a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy in fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation. The spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among thy, my people, that Thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned, and lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melted in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them, because the Lord had rejected them. Chapter 7 Evil in the Land The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Stand in the gate of the Lord's house, and proclaim there this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all ye of Judah, that enter in at the, these gates to worship the Lord. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, are these. For ye, for if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, ye trust in lying words and that cannot profit. Will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not? And come, and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations. In this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes. Behold, even I have seen it, said the Lord. But go ye now into my place, which was in Sidon, where I set my name at the first, and said, See what I did to it for the wickedness of my people, Israel. And now, because ye have done all these works, said the Lord, and I spoke unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not, and I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust and unto the place which I gave you, gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast all 
out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore pray not though for this people, neither lift up a cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The, the children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger, said the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore thus said the Lord God, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon men, and upon beasts, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and it shall not be quenched. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I spoke not unto their fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God. Ye shall be my people, and ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it sh may be well unto you. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear, but walked in their counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers come forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but hearken their neck. They, they did worse than other their fathers. Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, and, but they will not hearken unto thee. Thou shalt also call unto them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Cut off thine hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places. For the Lord had rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. The Valley of Slaughter For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, said the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they have built the high places of Tophah, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not, neither came it into my heart. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hema, but the valley of slaughter, for they shall bury in Tophet, till there be no place. And the carcasses of this people shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven, and for the beasts of the earth, and none shall freight them away. Then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah, and from the streets of J Jerusalem, and the voice of mirth, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. Chapter 8 and at that time, said the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes and the bones of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the host of heaven, whom they have loved and whom they have served and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought, and whom they have worshipped, 
They shall not be gathered, not be buried. They shall be for dung upon the face of the earth. And shall and that and death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain in this evil family, which remain in all the places whether I have driven him, said the Lord of hosts, sin and treachery. Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, those shall the Lord, shall they fall and not arise? Shall they he turn away and not return? Why then is the people of Jerusalem slidden back in by a perpetual blacksliding? They hold fast deceit, they refuse to return. I hearkened and heard, but they spoke not aright. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his course as the horse rusheth unto the battle. Yes, the stork in the heaven knoweth her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane, the swallow, observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. How do ye say, We are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it depend of the scribes is in vain. The wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord, and what wisdom is in them? Therefore will I give their wives unto others, and their fields to them that shall inherit them. For every one from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. From the prophet even unto the priest, every one dealeth falsely. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of the visitation they, will sh they shall be cast down, said the Lord. I will surely consume them, said the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade and the things that have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we st sit still? Assemble yourselves and let us and let us enter onto the defensed cities and let us be st silent there. For the Lord our God had put us to silence and given us water of gal to drink because we have sinned against the Lord. We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of health and behold trouble. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. Dan. The whole land trembled in the sound of the neighboring neighing of his strong ones, for they are come and have devoured the land and all that it is in it the city and those that dwell therein. For behold, I will send serpents, cockroaches cock among you, which will not be claim, charmed, and they shall bite you, said the Lord. Jeremiah grieves for his people. When I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is faint in me. Behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past, and the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black, astonishment had taken hold of me. Is there no Blam and Gilad? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Chapter 9 
Oh, that my head were, were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughters of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men, that I might leave my people and go from them. For they be all adulterers and assembly of treacherous men, and they bend their tongues like their bow for lies. But they are not vig vigilant for the truth upon the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, said the Lord. Take heed every one of his neighbor, and trust not in any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. And they will deceive every one of his neighbor, and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies, and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Thy habitation is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit they refuse to know me, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will melt them and try them, for how shall I do for the daughter of my people? Their tongue is as an arrow shot out, it speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in the heart he layeth his weight. Shall I not visit them for these things? said the Lord. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? For the mountains will I take up a weeping and wailing, and for the habitations of the wilderness a, a lamentation, lamentation, because they are burnt up so that none can pass through them. Neither can men hear the voice of the cattle. Both the fowl of the heavens and the beasts are fled. They are gone. And I will make Jerusalem heaps in a den of dragons. And I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man that make understand this? And who is he whom the mouth of the Lord hath spoken, that he may declare it? For what the land perisheth and is burned up like a wilderness, that none passeth though. And the Lord said, Because they have forsaken my law, which I said before them, I and have not obeyed my voice, neither walked therein, but have walked after the imagination of their own heart and after Balaam, which their fathers taught them. Therefore thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will feed them even this people with wormwood, and give them water of gal to drink. And I will scatter them also among the heathen, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send a sword after them, till I have consumed them. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Consider ye and call for the mourning women, that they may come and send for cunning women, that they may come, and let them make haste and take up a waiting for wailing for us, that our eyes may run down the, with tears, and our eyelids gush with, out with waters. For a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion, how are we spoiled? We are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land because our dwellings have cast us out. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth and teach your daughters wailing and every one her neighbor lamentation. For death is come up into our windows and is entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men of from the street speak thus said the Lord even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the field open field and as the handful after the harvest men and none shall gather them thus said the Lord let not the wise man glory to his wisdom neither let the mighty man glory in his might 
Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him the glory of glory in this, that he understand it and know it me, that I am the Lord which exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the Lord, in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah Ed and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that are in utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness, for all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. Chapter 10 Idols and the Living God Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, and the work of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver, with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that move it not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs that be born, because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also it is in them to do good. For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Who would not fear thee? O King of nations, for to thee doth it appear it, for as much as among all the wise men of the nations and in all their kingdoms, there there is none like unto thee, but they are altogether brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates is brought from Tarshish, and gold from Opaz, the work of the workmen and the hands of the founder, blue and purple, is their clothing. They are all the work of cunning men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting king. At his wrath the earth shall tremble, and the nation, and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. Thus shall he say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He had made the earth by his power, he had established the world by his wisdom, and had stretched out the heavens by his discretion. When he uttered his voice, there is multitude of waters in the heavens. And he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molden image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity and the works of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up thy wars out of the land, O inhabitant of the fortress. For thus said the Lord, Behold, I will sling out the inhabitants of the land at this once, and will distress them that they may find it so. Woe is me for my hurt, my wound is grievous. But I said truly, this is a grief that I must bear it. My tabernacle is spoiled and all my cords are broken. My children are gone forth of me and they are not. There is none to stretch forth my tent anymore and to set up my curtains for the passers for the pastors are become brutish and have not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper. All their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the brute is come, 
a great commotion out of the north country to make the cities of Judah desolate and a den of dragons. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, correct me but the, with judgment, not in thine anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that call not on thy name. For they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. Your chain. 